yeah, chaotic good is probably where I see Adam. So, I'll say I can respect that. I can respect that. But blackmail is still blackmail. Corella wants out, and I'm here to make sure he gets out. Yeah. Man, this whole thing is becoming way too much trouble. I've even got two local pushers on my back because they say my philanthropic actions are undercutting their profit. Mm. That's not your only problem. A gun-toting client was waiting for you in your apartment earlier. Really? In my apartment? Shit. The dealers probably sent him. Tell you what. I'll deal with the client later. You take care of the dealers, and the footage is yours. Hmm. Convince Tindall to give the footage back. Alright. He seemed a bit alpha. Alphas can be appeased, but betas will be angered by this approach. Yeah, he seemed a bit alpha. I'll try this. Look, you're right. You're in a tough situation. I wish I could help you out of it, but it's your mess, right? You're the one who's got to step up and do it. He sounds just like my old man. You're lucky I respected the dude. Here. Here's the footage. Guess I gotta face the mess I got myself in. This... Oh, I love you so much, Social Enhancer. You just saved me a lot of time. I could have gone and... You know, I could have gone and accepted the quest and... You know... Talk... Gotten rid of those... You know, smugglers or, or whatever... Whatever they are. But, um... Like I said... Um... If I can, if I can solve the situation diplomatically, I, I will. Adam will. Um, so, yeah. I mean, it. Adam could have decided to take down those, you know, those people who are trying to mess with, with Tyndall. But he can't. I, I don't want Adam to seem like he's going to fix everybody's messes. I don't want him to be the character who is going to um try to he's he's not going to yeah yeah th that's that's basically what i want to say I, I don't think he's going to try to fix every single person's mess i respect what brian tindall is trying to do um he's trying to well he's essentially smuggling and stealing neuropazine for the benefit of those who can't afford it which i think is <sighs> he's got good intentions but he's taking a risk by doing that. And um, and because he's taking a risk, he should be prepared for the consequences of that risk. And as much as it'd be great if Adam can stop those people who are threatening him, um, it's not really Adam's... It's not really Adam's problem. Um, and he's got a lot on his plate as it is. So I don't want him to seem like he's people's like delivery delivery boy or uh, he's not a here can you do this for me he's not going to say yes to every single thing um so adam's not perfect and i'm not going to role play him as being perfect he'll help when he can but it, but if he can't if he's got other things that he really needs to get taken care of he may he may decide really i don't have time i'm not going to have time for this so if i can solve this in a faster way i will so he tries to do the right thing, but he needs to let people... He needs to also give people a chance to fix their own problems, too. If, if that makes sense. Return to Corella. I'll return to Corella later. Right now, I've got other things I want to get done, like solve this motherly tie stuff. Let's see if I can do that real quick. Oh, wait. While I'm here, I want to see if there's... I want stun gun bullets. Can you... Have you have you changed your inventory, Grayson? Because I really want to get more bullets. And maybe I can sell stuff to you. Hey, Grayson. What'll it be? Well, let me sell some stuff first. Um... Let's see. I'm selling the beer. I'm selling the whiskey. I'm keeping the nukes software. Uh, I, I want my stun gun darts. Um, I don't need this pistol ammo because I don't have a pistol anymore. So no need for me to carry on the ammo. I don't have tranquilizer darts. I don't have a tranquilizer, but I might get one later. Revolver ammo. 
Machine pistol ammo. No. S ooh, stun gun, machine pistol. If I buy a stun gun, he doesn't have shotgun. Yeah, he doesn't have ammo for it. Doggone it. Reload speed upgrade. I really want some stun gun ammo. You need to change your inventory, sir. Oh, stun gun darts. There it is. Oh no, that's... This is my invent. That's selling, sorry. Buying. I want to buy now. Tranquilizer darts. Oh man, I don't... Yeah, I don't think he changed his inventory. Burst gun round system. Weapon. Tranquilizer rifle. 1500. No, 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 no. I don't know if I... Well, do I? Because I've got tranquilizer. Ammunition. Hmm. Mine template. Hmm. Always a pleasure. I've got to make a decision here. Um, machine pistol, shotgun, stun gun. Hmm. Uh, I do have quite a bit of tranquilizer ammo. Yeah, tranquilizer darts. You know what? I'm gonna do it. Since I have the ammunition and I'm running out of stun guns, I'm gonna buy the tranquilizer. What's your pleasure, friend? Because I'm a, I'm a non-lethal kind of person. So, what I'm going to do is sell off... Uh, I'm going to keep the shotgun. And... I will sell the machine gun. The machine pistol, I think. Yeah. And... Which means I don't need the... Machine pistol ammo. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and buy this tranquilizer rifle. Always a pleasure. Thank you, Grayson. Oh my gosh, this thing is huge. Oh my gosh. Might have to sell my stun gun. I don't really want. I like my stun gun, but I don't have any bullets. Anyway. Let me equip this real quick. Oh, very nice. Can I aim with it? Oh, this is how you switch weapons. Nice. Good stuff. Oh my gosh. Alright. Hello. Okay. Gotcha. Alright. Whew. Alright. Let's see, where am I going? I might want to buy... My next augmentation might have to be an inventory augmentation. Because I'm such a hoarder when it comes to loots and stuff. Definitely a hoarder. Probably do more hacking. I don't even know if I'm going the right direction. I think I am, though. Yeah, I remember this place. Alright. Come on, Adam. Don't mind me, sir. What is this? Somebody left their pocket secretary. Sup, dirtbag? Listen. The stuff stacked in the usual storage locker, just like you asked. I changed the code to 2928. Any idea when your guy can pick the stuff up? Bilbo. New access code. To what storage? I don't know which storage is talking about. Oh well. I'll just keep it just in case. Is there, like, a storage place? I don't know. Yeah. 
locate the DMTB storage unit. Oh, the storage unit. Alright. I'll go to the storage units first, because it seems like there's a lot of stuff in the storage units that I can take from. Plus, I can do O'Malley's, one of O'Malley's um, tasks there as well. So I think I have to go this way, past the police station. through here to get to the... Oh. I think I do. How am I supposed to get past this? What the heck? I think I'm gonna save. I don't like this at all, guys. How am I gonna get past this? Is there no alternate alternate route? Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's a good thing I saved. Hmm. Easier said than done. I'm so squishy. That killed me in no time flat. I mean, well, it's down wire. Oh, maybe I have to go in the other direction. I have to go through here. Okay. There's no way to turn off the... guess not. Okay. Alright, well at least I knew where that was. Hey, scientists aren't God, man. They make a mistake, it's a human being that pays. There's just some things that men shouldn't mess around with. I want to go here, and then this way, this way, I think, okay, ah, okay, too heavy, can't get over there, huh. I need to be able to lift something. Hmm. Doggone it. I don't know if I can do this particular mission yet. Alright. It's too bad. It's interesting that they give you a lot of these missions that I don't know if you can necessarily do until later in the game. There's an awful lot of things to do in the police station, so. Let's go do this real quick. Oh, I think Haas. Oh, Officer Wagner. Yeah? What do you want? Information. Then go bother the receptionist, Chrome Boy, instead of wasting my goddamn time. Not that kind of information. I want to know about the Seraf Industries case. Ha <laughs> ha! And I want a blowjob in a vintage 05 bar GT, so I guess we both keep on dreaming. Huh, metalhead? Hmm, he's look, he seems Omega to me. Let's pressure him. You talk tough, but we both know that's all you can do. Deep down, you're nothing but a coward. Well, trust me, tough guy. I'm the real thing. If you don't give me what I want, I won't beat you up. I'll kill you. Wow. Ah, uh, now listen, man, we... We obviously got off on the wrong foot here, right? I don't want no trouble. Talk. Okay, look. I just came in one morning and there was an email with my new assignment in it. Official business. But there were also specific instructions. I had to check out the lab for footage from an IntelliCam. They told me to take it and leave it near a garbage can somewhere near the lake. What was on it? Well, it's not crystal clear, but... Mainly, it shows the boys who attacked Seraph as they were breaching the labs. And it looked like they were bringing something in with them. Eh, impossible to tell what. Who asked you to do this? You think I know? Orders are orders around here. They always come from above. And nobody asks questions. You just do what they say, and you hope you don't end up like Secretary Haas over there. Hmm. 
I do hope the UN takes a concentrated look at what happened here tonight. Mr. Taggart went on to express... Get lost. I mean it. All right, I've got some business to do in here. Let's see. Uh-huh. Locate Captain Penn's office. So now I do get to go upstairs. Millionaire Hugh Darrow, the man whose innovations first... Mind if I do. Hello, sir. So far, Jensen, what the hell are you so doing here? The station's supposed to be off limits to all non-essentials. You don't even fucking work here anymore. Cut the attitude. That's right, off limits. I heard orders came down from pretty high up. But I had to guess. It has to do with that body. Back anymore. again to Detroit. Yeah, about that body. Kind of already took what I needed from him. All right. Are you supposed to be here, sir? I thought the station had been locked down. I suggest you conclude your business and get out. Oh. Ah, look at here. What do we have in here? Huh. Nice. Oh. Oh. Wow. How do I deactivate this? Hmm. I don't know. But I guess I'm gonna have to go in here first. I think this is his office. Yes. Captain Penn's office. Captain Penn? Oh, sheesh. Laser system. Nice. Pocket secretary. Captain. In keeping to RA with RHS protocol, I changed the entry code for the morgue. For the duration of the morgue lockout, the interim code will be 9212. As soon as, ha as access has been restored to all personnel, the former code will be restored to you, and to you and will be so advised. Thank you. Nice. I've got the morgue code. I might have to check that again. Uh, I'm not going to take the captain's credit chips. Ebook. Hearts of Steel. In the dawn, the morning light through the windows was rich like the colors of autumn. Meredith lay in it, a snarl of sheets around her body. Jace's arm, the arm of steel, across her bare thigh like a discarded weapon. She traced up the cyber limb, and across the place where metal met flesh, the seam of the joint rough and tanned. Jace stirred and awoke, his craggly face, his craggy face softened. What's wrong? Meredith felt a peculiar mix of sadness and elation, a tightness in her chest as if she were, as if she were on the verge of tears. I, I was afraid you might hurt me. He was shocked. Mary, no, I would never. She wanted to look away, but she couldn't. I don't know, I don't know what I'm feeling. He took her by the hand, out of the bed, up and across to the window. I do, he said, bringing her lips to his. Whoa, I didn't realize the captain was into trashy romance novels. Interesting. Very interesting. What's in your drawers, captain? Oh. Pistol ammo and a pistol, which I don't need. No need for me to take that from you. Not that I necessarily would want to steal anything from the captain anyway. Um, we're gonna have to hack this. All right, let's hack it. This is gonna be tough. I think I'm gonna want to save real quick before I hack this again. Now let's hack. Let's hack. This is going to be a pain in the butt. Alright. Oh, but my capture... That's right, my ca my hacking skills have lowered the detection. Perfect. Nice, so far so good. Let's try this, 75%. Oh, here we go. Access granted. Nice. Uh, 
Captain, following the recent incident at Seraph Industries, the body of an unidentified male terrorist was delivered to your morgue. You are hereby advised that this corpse has been classified ultraviolet under the revised Homeland Security Act 2012. In keeping with Article 7, Section 3, under no circumstances the corpse will be transferred to the city morgue. It must remain in your own facility until my people arrive to take possession. Pursuant to this, per Section 4, all persons of blue clearance or lower are denied access to your morgue. The medical examiner may remain on site, of course, to keep the body isolated, but there is, no, there is to be no repeat, no autop autopsy performed. These measures will be in place until I deliver the all clear. Thank you for your understanding in this matter. Joseph Manderley, advisor to the Deputy Administrator, National Preparedness. Dr. Gerald Campbell, Morgue Procedures. Sir, today marks the second time this year when I have been prevented from doing my job following an attack on Seraph Industries. If there exists some question about my skill level, my ability to be discreet, or the way I run my lab, I demand it to be brought to my attention immediately. Professional courtesy requires a proper explanation. Dr. Gerald Campbell. Homeland Security Criminal Database. Ooh, Colonel Sanders. Elgato Ezekiel Sandoval. 1990, Los Angeles, California. Paulo and Conception. Three siblings, 5'10, 175 pounds. Features Hispanic, missing left eye, military tattoos, including USMC sigil. USMC, Afghanistan, wounded, medical discharge. Re enlisted under Recycle Military Program. Operations classified. Discharge under Cessation Act. Attack on civilians in Glendale Shopping Complex, Los Angeles. 13 injuries, no fatalities. Siege and hostage situation. Diagnosed on site as post-traumatic acute dissociation. Remanded and remanded into medical custody. Neuroprosthetic Rehabilitation Center near Camp Topaz, UT. Declared cure six months later and released. Criminal activists, leader of an anti-augmentation domestic terrorist group claiming responsibility for numerous acts of breaking and entering. Vandalism, theft, arson, targets all associated with augmentation industry. MO of attacks consistently involves empty buildings with minimal security personnel, no fatalities. Outstanding warrants should be considered armed and extremely dangerous. Ooh. Captain, over and done. Captain, due to the present sensitive context, it is our recommendation that case TA-00514 regarding the terrorist attack on Seraph Industries be filed and closed ASCP under option, opinion. The, in our opinion, the conclusions proposed at this stage of the investigation are quite satisfactory. I have appointed a state medical examiner to perform the autopsies on the victims. This is a critical situation when we must try to keep the information contained as tightly as possible. I'm certain you understand the public relations nightmare this incident implies and will act promptly and accordingly. Have your men reassigned by the end of the day. Joseph Manderley, advisor to the Deputy Administrator, National Preparedness. Okay. And let's try to hack this system. Let's do this. Um, let's try this out. Gotta try to grab this if I can. I don't think I'll be able to. Yeah. Access denied. Uh, Twenty thirty seconds. Whoops. Uh-oh. Was that me they're looking for? Uh-oh. I gotta be careful. Is anybody out here looking for me? Guess not. Alright. Let's try this again. Let's try to hack this. Because I'd really like to take whatever that thing is. I wasn't paying attention. Oh, great. No, I don't think they're going to come in here. Hopefully not. Hopefully not. Attempts left. Three. Great. Alright. Oh, goodness gracious. Guess I'm not getting whatever that thing is. Just gonna I'm just gonna do this. Access granted. Alright. Grey hat. User credentials encrypted. 
Laser system inactive. Nice. Let's see what we've got through here. Huh, whose office is this? I wonder. Let's see what we got. Where is this thing gonna take us? Uh-huh. That's far enough! Whoops. This is a restricted area! Whoops! Don't make me come after you! Sorry. 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 Is he gonna open the thing? Hopefully not. Okay. Yeah. Area seems clear. Good, good, good. Restricted area. Huh. Alright, I'm not gonna go into the restricted area just now. Again, there's no need for me to upset the popo at the moment. Was there another way to... Was there another way? What's in here? Whoa, I'm going up. Have I been this way? Oh. What is this place? Hello. Don't mind me. Which one are you? Good cop or bad cop? I ain't gonna talk to you neither. What the hell are you doing in here? This is an interrogation room. Sorry. Jensen, right? I've heard about you. Yeah, you were a good cop by most accounts. But you're lucky you got out. Look at the force now. Our badges mean nothing. We've got no authority. Alright, I should get out of here. Because I don't think I'm supposed to be up here. Alright, third floor. I want to check out this morgue. Thanks Go back to the morgue and see if I can use that code. I forgot. Where? Speaking from the tarmac the is this way. <laughs> Let's see. I don't know where. Morgue's down this way. Might as well use the elevator. Or it's only one floor. I'm going down. I'm taking the stairs. No need to use the elevator. Okay. Where is the morgue? Oh. Um, no, this is this is the cells. Unless, hold on. Oh well. Never mind then. Nothing all that interesting. Okay, guys, I think I'm just going to end the session here. Thanks again for joining me on this episode of Let's Play Deus Ex Human Revolution. And until next time, folks, love yourselves and love each other.